What is going on guys, Mason Barr, come back to yet another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you beginner barbers tips for starting to cut hair from scratch. So without further ado, let's hop straight into it. Before we get started with this video, I just want to say that this video is inspired by a DM I got on Instagram. So this guy by the name of MTZ Chico said, hey man, I came across your page and your cuts are fire. I was wondering if you could give me any advice on how to get started from scratch. Keep up with the good work. Thank you, bro. I really appreciate that. Um, but yeah, instead of just replying, giving him my tips, I just decided to make this video so that all of you guys could benefit from the tips as well. And uh, yeah, if you guys haven't checked out my Instagram, go ahead and do so. It's going to be linked in the description down below so you guys can ask me questions. And who knows, maybe you'll be featured on a video. But yeah, let's get started with the tips. All right, so tip number one is to do your research. Check out YouTube. YouTube is the best tool that you have for free. That's how I learned how to cut hair. I'd recommend guys like Chris Bossio, 360GZ, uh, The Barber's Table, E. Jones, Marty Blends. Um, a bunch of those guys give really good tutorials. And I'd say me as well. You guys could check out my other YouTube videos. I have a bunch of haircut tutorials. But uh, yeah, do your research. Um, get it down pack, write notes down and know what you're doing. Kind of get familiar with the barber lingo. Learn to pick out things in a haircut. Be able to tell what's wrong with the haircut and how to fix it. So that when you're in the situation, you know exactly what to do to get rid of a line, for example. But yeah, do your research on YouTube. Spend a lot of time doing that. And you know, that's my tip number one. All right, so tip number two is to invest in good tools. Uh, stay tuned. I have a video coming out soon about uh, like the best beginner starter kit. But um, you want to do your research, get like professional stuff don't go to walmart and get those clippers you can but if i were you i'd get good clippers it's an investment and you won't have to buy new clippers down the line you'll already have it and you could just add to your inventory um and yeah you know better tools the better your work will be if let's say we compare a cheap outliner to the best outliner your lines are going to come out way better and it's going to be easier to learn with a better outliner so all that being said uh, invest in your tools. Tip number three would be just to talk to your barber. See how he cuts your hair, watch exactly how he does it. Uh, ask him questions, oh, why do you fade like this? Why do you start with the top? And you know, you wanna get everyone's input so that you can have your, you could find your way of cutting hair. You know, that never hurts to ask. I've never met a barber who doesn't wanna, you know, talk to you and, and, and give you little tips and tricks. So just ask them, you know, ask your, if your friend's a barber, ask him, ask everyone for questions, you know, Right now you have to learn and you have to um, grab all the knowledge you can so that when you're put into the situation of cutting hair, you know exactly what to do. All right, so tip number four would be to find someone to cut their hair. I definitely recommend in the beginning, you know, don't charge at all. Just go ask your friends, ask your family members uh, if they'd like a free haircut, tell them that you're learning and tell them, make them know about all the research you're doing and that you're not just doing it for whatever. Uh, you know, show them, show them that you really want to, this is what you want to do, and they'll, they'll go ahead and hop in your chair. Try to find someone with not a too complicated haircut, maybe like a buzz cut or, uh, you know, an undercut with uh, all the same level on the sides. You, you guys will see, find someone that doesn't really care about their hair and is down for a free haircut. And I'm sure, I'm sure you guys can find someone, but uh, I definitely recommend starting with someone like that other than someone, uh, you know, that, that really cares about their hair and they'll you know tell you something's wrong you want to just dive right into it so it's best to start with someone that doesn't really care about their hair but uh yeah step number four find someone all right so tip number five comes straight after tip number four once you found that person you want to know exactly how to do their haircut so let's say the person wants to do a buzz cut with a high skin fade you're going to go on youtube and watch exactly watch a bunch of those videos on exactly how to do a high skin fade with a buzz cut you're not going to do that haircut the same way you're going to do uh, undercut slick back with a mid fade you know so um, once you know the person that you're gonna cut their hair you know exactly what haircut they're gonna do do your research and be sure that you know exactly what to do and when to do it all right so tip number six is something that I saw recently on TikTok. I saw some guy do this and it's like I'll pop it up somewhere here but it's like a little outline drill so you have um, the lines on top so uh, you use your clipper and you kind of practice doing the um, the fading motion and then under that you have the outline so you practice you know how to position your clipper and then you also have um, the C cups which is very hard that was uh, one of the hardest things to learn once I started is how to you know draw it with your clipper 
So um, I definitely recommend you know trying that out, doing it a few times a day, just to make sure that you're really comfortable with holding a clipper. Because that's one thing when I started, it was just holding a clipper and cutting hair just felt weird. So you want to get used to having a clipper in your if, in your hands. And also, um, once you get your scissors, uh, I definitely recommend to just hold on to them if you're walking around the house. You know, that sounds kind of weird walking around the house with scissors, but you know, when you're just chilling in your room, have the scissors in your in your hand, get used to holding them, flip them around, just so that you're used to having these tools because it's, it's gonna be new to you and it's gonna feel weird, so you wanna um, lessen that period of it feeling weird. So you wanna get comfortable as fast as possible. All right, so the last tip is just to jump straight into it. Chances are you're gonna mess up, I messed up, Everyone messes up on their first few haircuts. So what you can do is take pictures after the haircut, show your barber, show your friends, ask them what they think. Um, you know what, send me, send me a DM on Instagram. It's gonna be linked in the description down below. Send me the picture of your first haircuts, you know, and I'll, and I'll give you my input. I'll tell you what you can do to fix it and what I think. But uh, everyone starts that way, you know, you're gonna mess up, but you gotta keep learning, keep uh, putting the reps in. And uh, before you know it, I'm telling you guys, your fades are gonna be blurry and you're gonna have really nice haircuts. So put your reps in, keep working hard, and before you know it, you'll be a very good barber. All right, so that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the tips and learned something new. Um, if you guys are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We just hit a thousand subscribers. Thank you guys for that. But uh, yeah, next stop we got 10K. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.